Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga. In the last episode, we successfully re-entered League 2, and today I'm thinking after we uh, pay our bills, of course, because we are being responsible and we're making sure that we pay our bills, um, we are going to attempt to qualify for League 3 as well, because the game keeps telling us that we have enough money to qualify, so we're going to attempt, we're going to see if our dogs can handle uh, racing in a league just a little bit higher than their current one. I mean, this race, this League 2 race, doesn't look too bad. Um, this is our last one before we pay our bills. I mean, only have a couple of obstructions to look after. We have a little bit of a foggy weather to pay attention to as well, but otherwise it seems like a completely normal race for us. So we might as well go ahead and enter. Um, it looks like Striker is ready to take the middle for us today and Bandit can take the wheel and of course Buck is going to take the lead. So the only trouble with Striker is that his favorite thing, his very favorite thing has not happened in 71 days, which is fame. He wants a little bit of a boost in fame and because it's been so long since he's had that his uh, chance of activating his fault basically is quite high. His fault is that he's too proud too, which is kind of fitting considering um, his personality, but we're just going to try our best. I mean, there are a couple of ways that we can hopefully give him that boost. So we're going to try our best to uh, make sure that that happens for him today. So let's go ahead and get started. I mean, I'm a little bit nervous about this one just because I'm trying so hard to make sure that he can get a little bit of fame on him. Otherwise he's going to have a very, very hard time in the harder races too. Just um, keeping his proudness in check, his pride rather, keeping his pride in check. But let's go ahead and throw these treats. Can I line them up? Oh my gosh, it was just a little bit too late. If I throw them at the same time, or rather if they catch the uh, treats at the same time, then that actually gives them a boost. Um, let's see if I can do this properly though. Oh no, he didn't catch it. I was hoping that he would catch that as he was going over the rock, but I do have a little bit of trouble actually lining that up properly um, so that they jump over the rock while they're catching the treat. And that's another thing that will give them that little bit of fame boost. I know I've done it before, but honestly, I feel like it was probably just the fluke. I have had so much trouble doing it ever since. Um, let's give Striker his treat though. Let's give it to Bandit and then Buck should need it, right? Um, yes, just in time, just in time for a nice perfect catch. And um, we are in third though, despite all of those troubles, we are still in third place, which is why I'm feeling a little bit uh, confident, I guess. I don't wanna be overconfident, but I am feeling okay about uh, possibly going to a higher um, a higher league, basically. And oh no, as I'm saying that, I forgot to feed poor Bandit. But I do see that we just have uh, one more person to pass and I think he's right there. So I think we probably will be coming in first today unless anything goes terribly wrong. I mean, we're in first right now. Um, unfortunately, poor Striker still has not gotten his boost of fame. Um, the other thing that could possibly help him is if we race our um, rival, that rival who often shows up in random races and just uh, tries to mess with our day basically. But there we go, first place. We have this nice big pot of winnings for us. So uh, there we go, at least there's that. At least we managed to get a little bit more money to go toward um, all of our bills. And we should have a very nice cushion around us too. So after this, I guess we will attempt to uh, qualify for League 3. I mean, why not? At this point, we have been doing so well in League 2 that we might as well at least give it a try. They did say that if we don't qualify, um, they will, I guess, refund us a little bit of the money that we pay just to uh, enter the race. So, I mean, it's not too big of a loss, even if we don't end up qualifying. I'm also not 100% sure where we need to come in in this race to uh, possibly qualify for League 3. But uh, let's see. Um, I think we actually want to let these guys rest a little bit before we enter the League 3 race. I mean, they do have fatigue on them. So we want to make sure that they're um, properly rested and they're ready to take on this next big race because it's quite important, guys. It is quite important that we do this properly. So let's pet our little dogs on the head for doing such a very good job for us. And it looks like we also have another one of those sponsorships coming up soon too. So we'll probably have to take a look at that. Um, that was actually one of the other things that we did in the last episode. We changed around um, our sponsorships. Yeah, because we used to have 10% funding, but um, I decided to downgrade to 5% funding because this will allow us to take more than one um, sponsorship at a time. The other one took up all of these slots, so it was a very, very expensive one. Um, the other thing I want to check out was actually the staff, because I did see this um, the other day, but I didn't click on it, and I'm not exactly sure what the staff would do. Okay, so we can't actually hire anyone to work in our kennel right now. The employee slot is available at League 3, so good thing we're going toward that, I guess. 
Um, I wonder how uh, expensive that would be too. It's quite interesting. I'm not sure what they would do and I'm not sure how expensive it's going to be, but uh, we do have quite a bit of money. So I, again, am confident that we'll be able to get there eventually. Um, now let's see, we want to rest these guys. It looks like um, they aren't too, too tired. They just have a little bit of fatigue on them. So we'll go ahead and um, not go in there. We want to go to our regimen and then make sure that they are being cared for. And then we'll proceed with that. We'll let Adharma rest just one more time. She'll stay idle as she's uh, waiting to join in on the training regimen. And let's see, I believe um, Stryker's the only one who is out of fatigue at this point, which is kind of unfortunate because he's not really the one who we want to train right now. Um, but I guess, uh, I guess we could do that because I'm thinking that Dharma should probably be the one that we take to our League 3 race, our qualifying race, just because she's a little bit less likely to activate her, um, her little faults. Her favorite thing was perfect catches, I think, perfect tosses or something along those lines. Um, yeah, favorite thing, consecutive catches, okay. So that's actually a lot easier to manage than, uh, the fame thing, which is why I think she would be better off coming with us to, uh, this very, very important race. So let's see, I guess we could allow Bandit and Buck to rest one more day. We'll um, allow them to rest and then we'll just train all three of them together. So let's change our regimen now. Let's go to training and let's swap these guys around a little bit. We want Striker out here and we want Dharma in here so that they can all train together for this very, very important qualifying race. Let's proceed with that. Um, and there we go, there's our bills. So we need to pay our bills before we're ready to go to League 3. Um, now how much would it actually cost for League 3? Okay, so with um, four dogs, it would cost us about 3,000 of these little credits. Okay, so we would still have enough if we were in League 3 right now, which is good to see. That is exactly what I want to see. And look at that, the minimum team size for League 3 is actually four dogs. So does that mean that we could um, join the League and actually race all four of our dogs at once? Okay, so let's pay our dues though. Let's pay our dues for League 2. We'll um, go ahead and do that and... Oh, here's uh, the other sponsorship as well. Okay. So this is for the food bag. It increases the food bag capacity to eight. And honestly, I mean, since we have these extra slots now, we might as well just add it. There we go. So we have 5% monthly expenses covered with our funding sponsorship. And we also have this uh, little food bag sponsorship too, which should help us out uh, pretty well actually in the new um, races if we have to deal with uh, feeding four dogs at once. So let's give them all their nice little paths. And then I think uh, we'll just train them a little bit more. Maybe Maybe once more and then we'll go ahead and try the qualifying race um let's see we'll go ahead and do just that i think yeah they're all set to do that anyway so we might as well um bandit is like completely full up on this orange bar too which is excellent and it looks like dharma is even making her way into the orange bar um buck is a little bit behind but i'm sure he'll catch up soon and yeah i think we are ready guys i think we are officially ready to give league three a shot um, oh no, wait a second, we can't afford it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is not good. Okay, so how much is it actually to um, just attempt to qualify? It looks like we need uh, quite a bit more money to attempt to qualify. So that kind of throws a wrench into my plans. Okay, so it looks like we actually have to do a few more races before we can uh, attempt to qualify after all. Well, that's okay because we have this one coming up. Oh my goodness, um, this one might be a little bit harder actually. Um, sufficient restocks this time so not as many but we have more in our bag now so maybe that'll be okay um no wind thankfully but it is nighttime and i do like to see that um yeah i guess we'll just continue training these guys then i guess we'll just carry on like normal oh no i was really looking forward to giving um league three a shot but we'll get there eventually guys don't worry um one more day until we're ready for that race um, there we go. So let's go ahead and enter this race now. Um, we want Dharma, of course, to be in the middle. They always swap Dharma around on me. She's always in a place where she doesn't want to be. But now they're lined up properly and I think they'll be okay, right? Um, she actually has a 50% chance of activating her own fault too, which is a little bit unfortunate. It's probably just because she hasn't raced in a while. Um, she didn't race the last race, so she needs a little bit of practice. Thankfully, Bandit doesn't seem like he wants to uh, go ahead and steal any of our food, but look at that, 100% chance that he is going to activate his uh, special skill, which will give us a speed boost, I believe. 
Oh gosh, oh no, and that's the rival race too. Oh, Striker, you are going to hate me. <laughs> I left you behind for this. Oh no. Oh, I wish we had a way to tell if the rival was actually going to be in the race because that would have been so helpful. We could have given um we could have given Striker his chance to get a little boost in his fame points. Um but yeah, this extra of uh, food is really going to help us in leak 3 if we do have to take care of uh, four dogs at once. It is going to be quite hard though. I mean, gosh, I am having enough trouble just keeping track of all of these dogs right here. Um we need to send this to Buck. Is that going to make it in time? Yes, just barely. There is the tree. We're still in fifth place though, guys. Fifth place. We have to pick up the pace. Um, let's give this to Buck. Um, there we go. I thought that wasn't going to reach him. I'm having a little bit of trouble sending it to um, where it needs to be actually today. But let's see. We have a little rock to hop over. And then that is way too far away. Oh my gosh. Poor Dharma. Poor, poor Dharma. Oh my goodness. I usually don't do that bad in uh, the nighttime races. But let's see, we have to get that to Buck. There we go. And um, it looks like uh, Bandit actually activated his skill twice. So that's pretty good. Not bad at all. And now we're in second place. So that really helped us. That kind of pushed us along um, just enough to get us a little bit closer to that nasty rival of ours. Um, Buck is right there. He needs his tree. And there's our rival. There he is. I see him. We're going to get past you. We're gonna beat you, don't you worry about it. And I think if we uh, push Buck along just a little bit, he should be able to go faster. There we go, I think that was it. Yes! <laughs> and there's that fame too, that extra little burst of fame with the flashing lights that Striker would have absolutely loved, but he just missed out by being in the wrong race, guys. Oh my goodness. Well, that is quite unfortunate, but at least we managed to get a nice uh, little chunk of money. So hopefully that'll give us a, uh, a little bit of a better chance of at least attempting to qualify for League 3. We'll have to see how much more money we need to, uh, to actually get to League 3 here. But we're going to have to rest Dharma up too because she had a little bit of trouble out there. Um, her fame is leveling up though. That's good to see. Fame level 3. Oh my gosh, like Striker's going to be so jealous. <laughs> he is going to be so jealous of these dogs. Oh, I feel so bad for him. I was really hoping that he would be the one in the rival race, but it just didn't work out that way. Um, it looks like we have a little journal entry to read, though. He's probably so upset. He's just sitting there like, why? Why, Jesse View? Why did you do this? <laughs> I beat that jerk in a race again yesterday. The crowd loves our rivalry, so my team got more famous. Oh my goodness. And I'm sure Stryker is not the one who um, was able to get more famous out of that. But it looks like we can afford qualifying for League 3 now. Okay, so maybe that was just enough? Let's see. Yeah, it was. Okay, so after this, we are only going to have 110 of these little credits. That's how close we are. Oh my gosh. Well, we actually do need to let these guys rest though. I almost forgot about that. We need to let them rest so that they will be ready to take on this race. And unfortunately, that's going to mean that Striker is the one who's going to be uh, running with us if we still continue to uh, swap them. Unless... Well, I mean, it's it's a League 3 race, so maybe they'll actually let us race all four of them together? Do you think? Oh man, I'm not sure. We'll have to see if that's the case, though. It looks like we have another sponsorship coming up, though. Um, our bills, too. That's what worries me. That's what worries me the most about getting so low on the money. Um, but let's go ahead and rest these guys now. We'll switch up our regimen a little bit, care for our dogs, and then um, let their fatigue kind of lower down before we get ready to train them for the next really big, important race. <laughs> and we just have uh, Buck and Dharma who have a little bit of a fatigue left on them. So let's see, I guess we could swap these guys around. We'll put Striker in there instead. We'll let uh, Bandit, of course, train because he trains all the time. He is constantly training um, with our team, it seems like, because his fatigue always goes away a lot faster than, than uh, the others. He seems much less likely to get the fatigue at least. Um, I guess that's because I'm giving him more of those perfect throws and I'm not allowing him to uh, pant as much in the uh, races as the others. Unfortunately, it's just the way that it turns out though. It seems like it's easier for me to throw the treats to a bandit than it is to the others sometimes. But let's see, I think they need one more idle day and then they should be ready to uh, join in the training regimen as well. And let's see, Raldi told me about Aurora after the lake rescue. Her fame grew by degrees after the story spread. People everywhere knew the names Mount St. Something and Aurora. I'm surprised I didn't. One morning, though, her caretaker said she had disappeared. Uh-oh. 
of her just decided to disappear. Oh no, that's not good. So she ended up actually saving um, a lot of racers who were stuck on the ice, a lot of dogs and the mushers. And uh, that's why she's so famous, I guess, in this town, Mount St. Something. So that is um, quite an interesting little story. Like a little bit of backstory that we get about the town every now and then. Um, but let's see, we have a race coming up in two days, but I don't think we're going to take that because we're probably going to be doing our qualifying race instead. So let's see, let's just make sure that Stryker is ready for this, I guess. As ready as he possibly can be. Um, we'll give him one more day of training and then we'll pop um, Buck in there in two because he needs to make sure that he's trained up as well. Oh my gosh, that is so unfortunate though. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we should just have Dharma do it instead because her skill bar is so much higher. I think I'm going to have Dharma go in there instead. I think we're going to go with this team. If we can only take three dogs in, then I would want to go with them, this team instead. And I'm so sorry, Striker. I'm so sorry. We're going to have to find a way. Like, is there any way for us to possibly have um, four dogs trained at once? I mean, maybe that's what the staff would be for? I'm not sure, like we can't even check it out yet, unfortunately. But yeah, let's see. I think uh, we're going to give it a try. So let's go to the quick errands, let's go to the league office, and let's try to qualify for League 3. Oh, I am so nervous about this. But if we don't qualify, then 75% of our league expenses will be refunded. So we should still have enough, hopefully fingers crossed, to pay our bills if this doesn't go well. Let's go ahead and start though. And yeah, we can actually use all of our dogs. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, this is the first time that we're ever doing this too. Okay. Okay, this is going to be very, very interesting, guys. Four dogs to watch after. Um, they're all in their natural positions too, which is more than we could ever ask for, honestly. I'm so glad that we found Buck. Um, but we still have to get him some fame. Oh, Striker, 83 days ago. At least that'll be a little bit easier if we do have the opportunity to take um, Striker with us all the time, just because like he won't miss out on those really important races with um, the, the rival and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start this, guys. This is our first time ever trying to qualify for League 3, and I'm very, very nervous, but we're going to give it a try. Okay, so let's see. It looks like a striker may have been the first one panting. It looks like it. Um, I like that it's a little bit darker in here, though. At least it gives me a little bit of an advantage. And there we go. They're all panting at once now, like literally all at once. <laughs> Buck, is that going to reach you? Oh, just barely, just barely past that tiny little tree. That was very worrying. Um, we have to jump over this rock, though. I think I sent that trade out to Striker a little bit too early. But um, they're doing quite well. I noticed that someone's uh, little skill activated. And Buck, you need one too. Oh no, don't let that be too late. There we go, just in time. And I don't want them to tangle either, so I have to keep an eye on that. But there's one for Striker. Um, not too bad so far. And they seem like they're going really, really fast too. I just have to keep an eye on those puffs of breath though. That's what's worrying me. Because there's so many dogs that it's almost hard to uh, keep track of where the little puffs of breath are coming from but I think I'm doing okay. We have Stryker who needs one. Unfortunately, he's the only one who's kind of like out of sync with um, his teammates. Um, so I can't really have him uh, eat a treat at the same time as someone else at the moment. But there we go, we are getting so close. Oh, we're in first, go Buck, go. <laughs> and we have that speed boost right at the end too. Oh my gosh, first place guys, we qualified for League 3. Who would have thought that we would qualify on the first try? Oh my goodness. Four dogs on our team now. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Are we going to be using four dogs all the time, I wonder, or just for special races? Like, I hope we use them all the time, though, because that would really, really help out um, Striker. And I don't think he's going to get a boost just for qualifying, will he? Um, it looks like he's getting friendly again with Dharma, though, so that's good to see. I mean, they haven't raced together in a while, actually. Yeah, so it's like uh, their little, their friendship level, I guess. Their report kind of went down because they hadn't raced in so long. But it went right back up again after they were able to have another race together. So that is really good to see. I'm sure they enjoy each other's company, at least. And then, oh my gosh, we have right away another race to go into. But I'm not sure if we want to do this just yet. I'm not sure. We probably want our dogs to actually, um to rest. Oh, and it looks like we've been uh, granted a slot to hire an employee. Yes, okay. So we can view the resumes. Now, with our 110 credits, I really don't think we're going to be able to hire an employee today, but I do want to look at them at least. Um, here's Dan, okay. 
he doesn't have any perks for hiring him and we can't afford him. Um, and then Randall, who also has no perks and Will, who has no perks at all. Um, we also have Sonya, Hector, Justin, Cass, Tess. Um, like, what's the point of hiring them? <laughs> this isn't telling me very much. Um, I'm not sure. Like, clearly though, we cannot hire them. We cannot hire them at all. Um, so I guess we're going to have to skip that for now. But at some point I will look into the, um, employees because I'm sure it's going to help us out in some way. Oh my gosh. Is that how much we need to pay? It's on all of these for some reason. That must be a little glitch. Oh my goodness, that is so much. That is so much money. Um, at least we get quite a bit more money just for winning these races. Um, I would like to try just one more though. It looks like it's all glitched actually. Look at this. It all says five days. It all says um, the same number here. So I'm having a little bit of an issue at the moment. Oh no. <laughs> that is not going to help us out very much. But um, I do want to pat these guys on the head. There we go. We can pat them all up and then we can let them rest. Um, actually, they all only have one little bit of fatigue on them. So if we go to the regimen and we let them all rest... Um, oh, look at that. We can do them all at once now because we're in a higher league. Oh, I didn't realize that that would happen. This is excellent. So we can actually train them all together from now on. Oh, that is perfect. Okay, so they won't be getting lazy now as they're um, just sitting around waiting for their turn to race. That jerk was in the paper again. He said, sure, she snuck past me a few times, but I don't see why she makes such a big deal about it. Wow. Oh, jeez. Oh geez, a little bit of trouble with that rivalry again. Level 4 funding, wait a second. Wait a second, level 4 funding, that looks very good. 20% of our monthly expenses, oh my gosh. If I had extra slots, I would take that right away. Um, that is so much better than our 5% funding right now, but I do really like having the extra food bag, especially as we're going into these races with um, four of our dogs, so I think I'm actually going to have to keep the food bag right now. Unfortunately, we're going to discard this level 4 funding even though it looks so good. Um, and hopefully that's not going to come back to bite us. And it looks like that glitch went away. Now all of these are um, the way that they're supposed to be. So that's good to see too. We don't need any crazy glitches messing up the game now that we're finally in League 3. Um, but let's see, can we just do one more race before we end up the episode? I would like to try just one more race with these guys. So why don't we go ahead and do it? We will um, train them now. Make sure that they're all nice and trained. There we go. And um, they should be ready to attempt yet another one of these races. And fingers crossed that we'll be able to win it just like before. There we go. So it looks like Bandit might actually be getting another bar pretty soon. If um, it goes past level 3 at least. He's on level 3 of his skill bar. His um, little white bar underneath is almost to the top. So I would imagine pretty soon it's going to be um, switching over to level 4. But let's see. Just one more day until the race. So let's train them one last time. And then this will be the final race before we end out the episode, guys. 2,300 of these little credits if we win this. Oh my gosh, we have some wind to look after. We have uh, sufficient restocks, no obstructions or anything like that. And it is nighttime, so that's a good sign. I do like that. Um, and it looks like everyone's in the right place. I believe they are. Um, let's go ahead and swap Striker and Dharma though. Maybe that'll help me. I would be surprised if it does, but 88 days ago. Oh my gosh, Striker, you must absolutely hate me right now. Oh man, like I don't want to say that we might need to find a different middle dog, but he might need a different team that can suit him a little bit better if we can't um, seem to satisfy his need for fame in the near future. But let's go ahead and start this. We'll cross our fingers and do our best, I guess. Um, it doesn't look like it's a rival race, unfortunately, but let's see, who is going to need their treats first? That is the first question. I think it might have been Bandit, actually. Um, it's hard to tell, but it may have actually been Bandit. They are moving so much faster than they were before, too. Oh my gosh, and they're all, like, one after the next needing their treats. Um, let's see, can I do this properly? Um, I don't know if that got to Buck. Did that get to him? I saw that he, um, was panting. Oh gosh, I think it did get to him because I just bonked him off the head. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Buck. That was terrible of me. Um, Dharma is the one who absolutely hates the little head bops <laughs> when we uh, throw the treats and she misses them. So I'm glad that that at least uh, wasn't her who we bopped the head of because then she would have been very, very upset with us and she probably would have triggered that um, little fault of hers. She would have been too proud. And you know, that might be a little bit troublesome if our dogs are both too proud in the middle. I would imagine that would be quite troublesome for us. 
Let's see, can I get this to you guys? Oh no, oh no, I missed you, Buck. No, that's not good. <laughs> Just as Bandit activated his skill too. Oh gosh. Well, let's see, we have to give one to Bandit now. And then a Dharma should probably be next. There we go, but we have a tree. Um, there we go, that passed. So nothing to worry about there. We just have to give them their treats. And um, it seems like we're doing okay. We're in fourth place now, third place now. All right, not bad at all. Um, the wind is picking up again though. It gave me a little bit of trouble giving a bandit his treat before. Oh no, and Dharma, that might be too far. Oh no, Dharma, <laughs> that is not good. The wind is really messing with me today. Oh, Dharma, Dharma, Dharma. And it looks like, oh no, Striker's tangled. Oh no, I'm starting to panic now. Everyone is falling apart. Don't panic, Jess, don't panic. <laughs> There we go. There we go. They're all safe now. Oh, that worried me for a moment. But we're still in second. Despite that craziness, we're still in second. We just have one more person to pass. Okay, we can do this. We can do this, guys. We just have to keep our heads. Let's give one to Buck. I see that last person is right there. And oh, look at that. Striker, you activated your skill. Now we can't get tangled. If only it was like that before. Oh, we're zipping past this guy now. Oh my gosh, we did it, guys. First place. First place on our first official race of League 3. Excellent. That is absolutely excellent. We did it. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, so is anyone going to level up now? Like, again, unfortunately, Striker, you still did not get that uh, special little boost in fame. Like, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just not meant to have dogs who need to have fame in their lives, which <laughs> sounds so terrible, but I mean, maybe he would be better off on a different team? Like, I really hate to say that because he's been with us since the beginning, but it is something that I will look into if it continues on in that way. And oh my goodness, Buck, did you see all of that fatigue on poor Buck? Oh, he had a terrible race, didn't he? Okay, he is going to need a very, very good uh, rest after all that. I think all of our dogs are going to need a good rest after that. So League 3, guys, I guess we're doing pretty good. Not much to worry about. And look at that. Look how much money we have now. We had so little money just a few moments ago, but I think we are going to be perfectly fine. We are going to be perfectly safe when it comes time to actually pay our bills. And maybe pretty soon we can actually look into hiring one of those staff members. Those staff members with no perks. <laughs> Whatever that means. I'm still not exactly sure what that would actually do for our dogs, but it's something to look into. So thank you all so much for watching today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!